everyone, it's Gary and I'm back to talk about another herbal recipe that will help increase the enamel on your teeth. Now, one of the things that we face, other than losing the enamel on our teeth, that dentists don't really talk about is your teeth are very porous. And when your body is fully hydrated, so are your teeth. But as you get dehydrated, the liquid, the fluid in your teeth start to drain and those porous areas are more susceptible to bacteria to create cavities. The one thing that's really uh, cool is nothing can be in your body that isn't alive. And if it's alive and it's growing, you're feeding it. So what we're doing in these tea uh, videos that we're doing is we're showing you how to eliminate some of those by strengthening the areas that need to be strengthened and they will eliminate the weakness in your body. So a cavity is a living, growing thing. And when it's on your tooth, it's eating the cells and that's why it grows bigger and it goes deeper. There are fluids, which we will talk about in another episode, that you can make that will eliminate that bacteria and that tooth will not rot. And if you catch things in time, it'll actually regenerate itself. So that's something the dentist won't tell you that's that's very cool. So the herb, one of three that I know of, or three that I use, that helps strengthen the enamel on your teeth is dandelion. Dandelion is such an amazing herb because it will not only strengthen the enamel on your teeth, it will work with your kidneys. It's an anti-inflammatory. It's, I mean, we're going to go through a couple of things that I have written down so that you get an idea of just how powerful dandelion is and it's growing everywhere. The other thing we're going to use is nettle. Nettle is an amazing herb also. It's an anti-inflammatory. So we're not going to be just working with the enamel because every one of these herbs does about 10 different things. So you're working on the whole body and it's creating an atmosphere within the body itself that is going to help you get well again. And our third and final is licorice. So this is a, a good boost for the adrenals. And it has many other things that it works with too, but if you're having adrenal issues, licorice is a must. So where licorice is a root, we're going to have to do something that most people don't do when they just make tea, like we're going to do in, in like we did in the first episode, and we're going to be doing in future episodes. Where root is much more dense than leaf, we have to boil this for 20 minutes. So I'm going to get the water ready. I'm going to move the camera, get the water ready, and show you how I do this. Okay, so what we're going to do is I have my, my water pitcher here. And we're going to put a cup and a half of water in this because you know some of it's going to boil off. So we're going to be pretty generous with that cup and a half. Hopefully a cup and a half will fit in this. Okay. So this cup and a half. Turn on the burner. Now this is a preference here. You can actually put this in now if you want and it will help soften it up as the water gets hot and then when it boils. Or you can wait till it's boiling and then put it in. 
I, I tend to put it in now. And I always ask, is this enough? Is this enough? Is it too much? Yes. Is that enough? Yes. Is it too much? No. So that's all I'm putting in there. It's all my body seems to want. So that's what it's going to get. Now we let that come to a boil. Let it boil for 20 minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to shut the camera off. And then I'll come back after it's boiled. So I thought while that licorice was heating up, I would cover a few things like what dandelion's good for, and uh, nettle, and licorice. That's like dandelion we're going to be using in here. And uh, that's good for the gallbladder, uh, pancreatic function, kidney, bladder. Uh, improves the enamel on the teeth, which is one of the reasons we're using it in this mix. It's a great alkalizer. And it has, uh, it is high in iron and other minerals. And it increases the oxygen carrying uh, capacity of the blood. So it increases oxygen to the cells. So dandelion is a very important thing to have in your diet. And you can go out and as long as your lawns aren't sprayed, you can pick the dandelions right off your lawns and eat them. And they are delicious. And nothing will ever be live. This is amazing. Dandelions right off your uh, land. So powerful. It's, it still has quantum energy in it. And and we haven't found anything that even come close to quantum energy. So let's talk about licorice next. So licorice is good for the adrenal glands. We'd already talked about that. Uh, it's an anti-inflammatory. It uh, increases neurotransmitters and steroid production. It's an antifungal, antibacterial. So this would be really good for that bacteria that's on your teeth, if there is any, or is starting to form, it will start to work with that and eliminate it. Uh, it's a great uh, blood cleanser and detoxifier. It's good for things like candida. So and it goes on and on. It, it is also uh, a mild laxative. So for those who are having that issue, licorice root is for you. Not only does it increase the adrenals and the energy in your body, but it helps you go to the bathroom as well. And the last one here is nettle. Nettle is an alkalizer. It increases circulation, specific for arthritis, great for joints, pain and inflammation, so it is a painkiller. Uh, it's a strong detoxifier. Excellent for pregnancy, nutrition, and for anti-abortive issues. So that's just some of the things you'll be covering just with this tea right here. So there are three herbs that I use and there's probably more out there that will increase the enamel on your teeth. Obviously one of those is dandelion. The other one is bugleweed and white oak bark. All three of those help alkalize the mouth because that's the biggest issue. You have swollen gums, uh, bleeding gums, that's a vitamin C issue. So hibiscus tea would work really well for that. Uh, the master cleanse with lemon. Or just lemon water will help with that. Uh, there are so many things that we're not, that are not explained to us, or they don't share that information, and we're not into that here. So, as we learn, we share, and I hope you will do the same thing. Now our water has been boiling for probably five minutes. So I'm going to shut the camera off, and then we're going to come back and finish making the tea. All right.
So I'll see you in a few minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. And what we're going to do is we're going to put in our dandelion. I'm going to turn this down to low. You can turn it off. Is that enough dandelion? Is it too much? Yes. Isn't that enough? Uh, this enough dandelion? Yes. Is it too much? Is that too much? No. So this is how much I should have? Yes. Okay. Just confusing myself there. Is this enough nettle? Yes. Is it enough? Yes. So it's good. Yes. Okay. So that's how much nettle we're going to use. We'll just let this sit in there for 10 or 15 minutes. And I will be right back. Okay, we're back and our tea is done. And what we're going to use is we're going to use this little basket and this cup. Now, not as much water boiled off because I put that uh, top on it. So I just need to be careful putting this in here because it is extremely hot. And I need to fill some. Normally, I just take this and kind of See if I can tap it back in there, because there's more there. Put this in the sink. Get a sponge, clean up my mess. Oh, the things that happened during filming. <laughs> okay, close enough. Here's to a tremendous cup of tea that is not only healing, but it is inflammation reducing, it is strengthening, it is hydrating. Doesn't get much better than that. So let's give it a try. Mmm, that is really good. Now, this does have quite a licorice taste to it. So, if you're not a big fan of licorice, if you love licorice, you'll love that tea. Then you always have the bugleweed or the uh, white oak bark. So I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video.